Welcome to Cisco's Connected Energy Substation Automation Demonstration Overview. My name is Prashant Chitapuram and I am a Technical Marketing Engineer with Cisco's Connected Energy Networks Business Unit, focused on substation automation solutions. This introduction video will provide an overview for a series of demonstrations that highlight Cisco's solution for substation automation. Accompanying this video will be a series of videos of the actual demonstrations which will be made available for the field to use. So let's take a look. The system is broken into three functional tiers. The control center or NOC tier where utility and management applications are hosted. The wide area network tier that provides the backhaul of communications from the substation to the control center. And finally, the substation itself. Now let's take a closer look at each tier. Let's start by looking at the substation setup. We have a ring topology in the station bus with protection and control relays along with other communication devices. A single Ethernet switch serves as the multi-service bus. The multi-service bus enables services like IP telephony, physical security, and wireless LAN. The ring topology enables a high bandwidth gigabit Ethernet fiber ring with fast convergence capabilities suitable for protection and control devices using IC61850 protocols like GOOSE and MMS. Relays with legacy RS-232 interfaces using DNP3 to communicate can be accommodated by connecting them directly to the connected grid router's serial ports and tunneling the raw serial data over the IP network. Cisco provides a device management tool called Cisco Configurational Professional or CCP which can be used for local management of the CGR2010 ruggedized router and CGS2520 ruggedized switches inside the substation. The wide area network or WAN can be a wired or a wireless connection. And the CGR2010 can offer various network connectivity options including advanced VPN technologies for traffic segmentation and security technologies like firewall and encryption to provide the electronic security perimeter at the substation. T1 E1 or Ethernet are typical wired connections. DSL is also an option which is more popular in Europe for substation connectivity. It also supports cellular connectivity like 3G and the latest 4G LTE technologies which are typically used for backup connections but may also be used as a primary WAN connection in smaller or less critical substations. Now let's take a look at the control center or the network operations center. Utilities depend on different applications to control and monitor the grid. These applications are hosted and managed in the control center or network operations center. In the demonstration, we'll talk about network management, physical security, and human to machine interface or HMI application. The network management applications like Cisco LMS provide network management capability to control, monitor, and manage the network devices in the network. The physical security application provides interactive control and monitoring of the IP cameras and badge reader system which provides the physical security perimeter at the substation. Finally, the HMI application controls and monitors the grid using SCADA protocols. The relays using legacy serial interfaces are directly connected to the router at the substation. The raw serial data is transported across the WAN to the control center aggregation router using protocols like BSTUN or block serial tunneling. This aggregation router provides the serial connections to the HMI application which can now talk to the relay as if it was directly connected to it. This concludes the overview of the substation automation demonstration from Cisco's Connected Energy Networks Business Unit. For the latest information on Cisco's substation automation solution, please follow the link below. Thanks for watching.